after a lot of thought and uh, uh, soul searching, I think that the time was right to hang up, hang up boots. Um, it wasn't a decision I've made lightly um, because I love the game so much. Um, in hindsight, possibly should have retired three years ago when I left Stevenage because uh, the body wasn't the same and I wasn't able to do the things that I used to be able to do. Um, and I, I loved it. I love I love the game. Hence why I didn't want to didn't want to give up. But um, my priorities have got to change and switch to my little boy now. I think he, he um, was there watching the first game of the season, and I was sitting sitting on the bench, at, you know, four four weeks off my thirty eighth birthday, and I'm thinking I really should be devoting the time to him now. I think that that's kind of clear. You know, I've had a good career. I played football. I'm lucky enough to play football since the age of sixteen. I'm um, like I said, I was four weeks away from my 38th birthday. So I've had a good inning, so I can't complain. Listen, there's no, been no uh, serious injuries that have held me out for massively long periods of time. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate and I'm lucky and I'm grateful that I've um, done something that I love for 20 odd years, if not more, yeah, 20, 22 years it is. Um, it's now time to, to to hand the baton over to the young lads here because the young lads are, are very, very good. Um, and that's another reason why, because I've seen the standard of the young lads and to be honest, that they, 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 they've, got, they've got it covered. They've got it covered. There's some very, very good players here. Um, it's a very, very good football club. Uh, play football in the right way with two incredible coaches. Uh, Hinch is a, is a top manager and he's going to obviously, um, I think, going to go on to bigger and better things and I think it's time for Worthing to, to enjoy enjoy the football that they're watching while he's here because no doubt he will go on or if not Worthing get promoted and Worthing and everyone goes on together um, and uh, I think that there's some young lads here that have got really really bright futures in the game and uh, I'll be watching with a, with a you know I'll be watching with um, interesting very very interested in how they're going to get on and um, yeah, no, uh, it wasn't a decision I took lightly, but I think that, that it's the right decision. Uh, you know, um, 38 years old, need to devote my time to, to, to my, my family and prioritise my, my family or my, my little boy, because he needs me. Um, he doesn't need me sitting on the bench for Worthing, travelling the country. He needs me because he doesn't live with me. He lives up in Manchester, so he needs me to be watching him and trying to help him um, grow up first of all and then obviously try and have a have a he wants to be a footballer so it's, it's, it's up to me now to help him be a footballer and um, it's with a heavy heart because I love it and uh, you know it's, it's, it's something great going on here and I'll be uh, yeah I'll be a fan like everyone else and um, be looking to try and, and, and get involved and um, help the young lads if I can in any way I said I said I'll be always on the phone and um, I wish everyone well so you know, I wish everyone well, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be a successful campaign. So it'll be, uh, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see. What do you think? Obviously, quite early in the news, and it, it's not something you can take lightly, um, especially after the incredible career you've had, 22 years in the game. It's a hell of an achievement. What do you think the next steps are? Is there anything more in football that you'd, you'd like to give? Yeah, listen, football's been my life, so I'd always, I want to be involved in football. It just it just in just because the playing days are over, uh, doesn't mean that football's over. Football is 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 still uh, I could still be involved in football at 65 70, to seventy. You know what I mean? Doing something something in some capacity. So it's my passion, it's my love, and I'll, I'll be looking to try and stay in in some capacity. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. It's. We could probably sit here for hours talking about your career, some of the stories, people you've been with, things you've done, over time games for Albion, uh, an international for Egypt, so many things. Yeah. But just on top of your head right now, what would be some of the big highlights for you? Uh, people ask me these questions, right? And people ask me who's the best player that you played with or the best player you've played against. And, it's so difficult to pick one memory, you know. Like it's so difficult to pick one player that you've played against or played with because there's been so many, so many good memories and so many good players. You know, so it would almost be disrespectful to others to pick one player because you can't. Because there's been so many. So therefore, one one memory has been 
Um, it's tough because there's been a few, obviously the promotions, there's been highs and lows, huh? it's not just all highs, you know, the, the lows stick with you as well. Um, but the promotions with the teams, that, you know, winning the league with Brighton, um, playing at the Amex in front of 30,000 people in your hometown club, um, representing your country, um, when getting promoted with Wickham, um, getting promoted with Berry. Um, so there's been a few. It's uh, but it's been it's been a it's been a roller coaster, ups and downs. But it's been it's been an amazing journey. So I'd like to close the book on it in my on my terms now. Um, and uh, it's uh, looking forward to to the future and what what the future may bring.